guys! Today I'm going to show you how I trim Winnie's paws, which I do about once a week. Um, the hair grows between her paw pads um, pretty much the same rate as the rest of her body. Even though I do walk her a lot on concrete, she's just not heavy enough of an animal for it to stunt the growth of the hair, which I know can happen for like bigger dogs like golden retrievers or dogs of that nature where um, if you walk them a lot that the hair just won't grow as fast between their paw pads but she's only 10 pounds and uh, it just it keeps growing so I trim it once a week and how I do that is I set her up on her grooming table on her mat of course but then I put a um, this is a, what, a hand towel underneath her just underneath her legs to catch any of the hair so I don't have to like pick it off of the grooming mat because it's microfiber and it just gets stuck um, and then after I groom her side, and if you watched my full basic grooming video, you know I do her per side, um, that's when I do her feet. And I basically just comb through them and then clip them using my um, Convex Edge um, Chris Christensen scissors, which look like this, and I talked about in my um, favorite grooming supply or products video. And I'm going to link all of these in the bottom bar below if you're interested. Um, it's really not hard. You just have to be very careful, and um, you know it, it just it adds maybe about five minutes per side onto the grooming total time. So about ten minutes because I want to be careful and I want to be thorough. But I'm going to give you a close up view, and hopefully you guys will see how I clip clip trim Winnie's paw pad hair, and um, yeah, it's what works for us. So. Here we go. I start out by taking a hand towel and putting it under Winnie's legs on top of her grooming mat. This saves the hair from getting stuck in her microfiber grooming mat and helps make cleanup really easy. I just shake out the towel outside when we're done. Then I take my Chris Christensen five and a half inch zone trimming shears with the blunt edge as you can see and I start on her back paw. Taking my comb, I comb through the hair. Once again, I've already done this side in the grooming. I've already combed through her hair but just comb it out further just so it's ready to be trimmed. I kind of grab her hair around a bit to see how long it is and any hair that's farther than her paw would meet the ground, I trim off. So by gathering it in this way up closer to her paw, I can see which hairs have grown too long so she doesn't end up walking all over her paw hair that surrounds her paw pads. Um, and there you have it. Then I kind of push that hair away to get a clear view of her paw pad. And starting at the base, I very, very carefully trim around her paw pads, just using extreme caution and uh, working pretty close to the pads. I want this to last for a week, and what you see here is one week's worth of grow out. So uh, this just helps Winnie have better traction. Um, you know, you have to leave some hair because it provides warmth and other, you know, I'm not really sure what else, but it, I know it provides warmth in the winter for the dogs, but I go between each of her toes very carefully. I trim up close, uh, I trim close up to the nail, just making sure that I'm getting all that is extra and not necessary for her to have on her paws at any time. Uh, I try to make this a, a quick and easy experience for Winnie. As you can see, she is extremely relaxed. She knows I'm not going to hurt her. Sometimes she gets a little tickly and she might fidget a little, but this is pretty easy. And you can see at last, the last step here is I kind of pull back her, her toes so I can get a clear shot of the hair between her toe paw pads and the bottom of her paw. Um, and that's that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, after that's done, I wipe off my shears. Well, I didn't right there, but I usually do. And I gather the hair that has come off of her with my comb. And I put it in my little disposable bucket there on the top, and I start on her front paw. Same thing. I comb the hair down. It's already been groomed, so it's easy. It's just to get it um, so it's not all matted, not matted, but curled up into itself to get it free and... Um, so I'm able to get as much of it down close to her paw 
as would normally fall if she were standing. And again, I trim around um, kind of the exterior of the paw, the hair that's grown longer than her leg is. Trimming this hair in this way, just make sure that it doesn't grow longer than the length of her leg, which could she could possibly trip on. And, but more importantly, I've noticed that it just she picks up dirt so much faster when this hair is too long. Uh, just like the back paw, I start at the base after I've clipped around the paw, I start at the base of the paw pads and work my way kind of from left to right, up, around, and between the toes. Um, again, working up to the nail and uh, just very quickly, just using, you know, swift movements, but being very cautious. I've done this once a week since Winnie was 12 weeks old, so it's been almost two years now. She's very used to it. I'm used to it. Practice makes perfect with anything like this. I um, can't emphasize enough that if you are not comfortable doing this for your dog, then find somebody, a professional, hopefully, who is comfortable and who is confident. When you're taking scissors to your animal in any part, be it their just trimming their hair or their paws like this or their bottom or whatever, you want to be confident. So you can see I'm wiping off the shears. I put them back in the box because I'm going to groom her all the other side before I clip trim her other uh, paws. I comb out any of the hair that's kind of collected in her leg and I dispose of it in the little bucket. And then we flip her over to groom her other side. I've decided to speed this side up a bit. Uh, the video is sped up 300% because I'm doing the same thing, but I still wanted to include it uh, to show you guys from a different angle. Again, I, I've already groomed her side, so I just start with the back paw, do the, you know, around the paw, and then I work on the paw pad starting at the bottom and then going up from left to right between the toes, and um, I end by you know, pushing, pulling back the toes kind of to reveal um, the center of the paw pad, uh, which makes it just easier for me to get that hair. I'm doing that right now. You can see that. Um, of course, this is sped up. Don't forget, I don't work that quickly. Again, comb the hair, um, gather it up with the, uh, I mean, the hair that's I've clipped, put it away in the bin and work on the front paw. Same deal, you know, around the exterior, um, from left to right through the paw pads and toes and then the center of the paw pad. Doing it in this way and having it be the same way every time and for each paw just helps it be uh, consistent for Winnie and makes it so she knows what to expect. There's, there's no surprise here. This is I never do anything different uh, when it comes to grooming. I, I like to stick with the same methods of doing things so she knows what to expect and she's comfortable because she trusts that it's going to end okay and everybody's happy. I always recommend putting away your shears as soon as you're done to avoid any accidents and um, again dispose of the hair and there you go. Uh, now I just push her off of the hand towel and fold it up so I can take it downstairs and shake it out after I'm done but first I have to finish grooming her so I flip her onto her stomach and to finish the uh, grooming process. If you want to see how I groom her on a daily basis you can check out that video. Link is posted below. We'll see you later. <laughs> Thanks for watching. So that was it. We have successfully trimmed Winnie's paws. She's like, can I get down, please? Um, as you can see, it's really not hard. I just take extra precautions because I don't want to accidentally clip her actual paw pad and, you know, not just the hair. So that's why it takes a little bit longer, but it's really not very time consuming. We do it once a week, so the hair stays relatively short. Um, I just find it's easier that way to keep on top of things once a week. And uh, it's really no big deal. Yeah. Yes, you're a pretty girl. That is it for our trimming the paws video. I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned uh, for new grooming videos coming soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye. You gonna wave? Say bye bye.